Okay, we're back. Liu here, or Liu, that's what Shenhua calls you. Uh, and this is Shenmue 3. We're telling you, we're going to teach you about the fighting in this game because you're going to need it. Anyway, this is the first part of the game where it gets you into the first combat. And this is the, the dumbest tutorial ever on how to play the fighting in this game. It just says, just hit the ABXY buttons. Try pressing the right trigger. Eat and fill up before fighting. None of this explains anything. So ABXY buttons are sort of like punches and kicks, but in combination they can do special moves. And then the right trigger does a actually you can you can stock or you can that's like a shortcut for any special move that you assign. And then eat and fill up before fighting because that means that's because your health will be a factor in the fighting. So I'm gonna press next. Okay, let me just pause here. No, nope, I can't pause. So lower left corner. Uh, is my health with all the green circles uh, the enemy's health is on the right with all the green circles and uh, to block you pre you press on the left trigger or L2 okay and you notice that uh, in I'm gonna the t tutorial type of thing look at the little um, uh, blocking thing on the back on the lower left corner next to the health bar Underneath the blazing kick text is a guy look an icon that guy of a guy blocking and there's a bar there Whenever you block anything You see that there is a bar that recharges that is your block gauge and if your block gauge um, uh, If your block gauge depletes you will start taking damage. So let's start uh, taking damage by uh, Depleting our block gauge. We'll see if he can you know keep keep attacking enough Maybe not, but there we go. So we talk, took some damage there because our block gauge uh, has depleted. And this is an important factor in fighting in this game because you will be relying on this block gauge for your god dang life. Anyway, uh, the ABXY, like I said, or that would be square, circle, cross, and triangle. That is your attack buttons. Now, what is Blazing Kick? That is the shortcut that you have selected so far so if you press the right trigger button it does what the shortcut says so if i press the right trigger right now it'll do a blazing kick that's that's what that's that's a long combo uh, and then you can press the tr the uh, the bumpers or r1 l1 to select the the sort of selected um attack okay and uh see so you can do a counter elbow assault by pressing right trigger like this or you can do a tornado kick. Tornado kick is probably a, a really good combo that I like, especially on weak opponents like this guy. So uh, you press right trigger to do a tornado kick. Let me let me get up in this. So it's a mid range attack that knocks the opponent down sometimes. Okay, so it's a good attack to replenish your block gauge. Actually, when if you knock some people down or you just um, you know stun them a lot. Okay, so you just block. And it seems to be uh, there's a lot of things you can block as long as you have your block gauge, okay? So you just you need to replenish your block gauge. Now, uh, other thing you need to know is how to dash around, okay? So dash around, you just double tap a direction. This is not even explained in the game, okay? Nothing is explained in this game in terms of combat. So I can just dash around, and then uh, that would allow you to at least um, evade some attacks and get your block gauge back up again so the flow of the combat in this game so this guy is not too much of a pushover you can just match your buttons and you'll you'll beat him no problem that's a good attack too i don't know exactly i think it's punch uh, it's i think it's triangle 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 and um triangle 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 circle i think no that's not it anyway the first intro uh, introductory combat is very very easy of course and you will probably just mash your buttons but the first actual fight will kick your butt so hard back to Narnia you'll, you'll probably want to live in Narnia forever so uh, that, those are the basics of the combat um, I'll show you later how to actually heal in combat uh, in the actual fight against the stupid guy with the scar so uh, we'll just beat this guy and then come back in just a bit Anyway, we'll be back to fight the Scar guy, and I'll tell you, tell you how it works, and how to beat him, and how to act, how the actual strategy in beating opponents in this game is. That the game does not even tell you what to do. 
okay none of this was ever explained none of this was blocking your block gauge was never explained how to pull off uh, um, special moves was never explained that's Shinmu for you okay guys we're back and uh, you can see that we are about to fight the guy with a scar and uh, if you're looking here see that it says find the bookie with a facial scar and that's exactly the guy with the with the pale throw game pale toss game and uh, it's funny because I call him the garbage pale kid but he is a tough 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 mopo okay that's a mother police I don't I don't anyway He's a tough guy, and he's really, really, really tough. Now, you can see that my attack level is 1, my endurance level is 1, my kung fu level is 1, and I have 1200 HP. This is absolutely not enough to fight this guy. And this is the first guy you fight in the game, in the actual game. This is the first bad guy, or sort of actual guy you fight in the game, and he will... He will bust your butt so hard... You, you ever play um you ever play guy you guys ever play Dark Souls? Well, this guy is Dark Souls times 10. And this is this is in normal. Easy, normal, hard and hardest. We're in normal. This is the for players who want to get the full Shenmue experience. Oh yeah, this is really the Shenmue experience. This guy will hand your butt to you so hard you'd want to go back to Dark Souls. Okay? So the first encounter of the game, here we go. I'll show you how hard he hits. Okay? Hey there, lad. How about a game? A scarred face. This must be the guy. Huh? You say something? There's something I want to ask. So you can't skip any of these these uh You're not here to play? Whatever. I'm looking for someone Also, he's talking stuff. about playing oh, yeah. and throwing stuff. Where can I find it's it's funny because I thought this was an introduction to the pale throw, uh, pale toss game, but he's actually wanting to actually punch each other and and fight you. It almost seems like they recorded this audio, and then they thought they would have the game introduce you to the pale toss game, but maybe later in the development stage they said we need a tutorial fight. Or a guy that actually tells you to train your butt, um, so they made it different. They change. They might have changed it later in the development. Um, <laughs> so look at the advice here. It's basically useless. It says battle commands are all these buttons over here. You activate skill as your right trigger. You change skills by the left bumper and the right bumper, and the um, the block button is the left trigger. Now you use the medicine on the D-pad and the movement is on the analog sticks and changing your targets on the right sticks, which is not needed right now because it's a one-on-one. -on -one. This guy will... This is the first fight in the game, no training done. The guy will absolutely whoop your butt super hard. Okay, and so here's what, what a typical person would do is he would just randomly press buttons and think, yeah, I'm getting somewhere here, right? You, you, you're saying you're telling yourself, man, you, I'm doing some de de decent combo attacks here. Look at this, yeah, cool moves. Rio can do some cool moves, and look at your HP bar. Oh no, your HP bar is basically nothing. I'm gonna use the healing item by pressing the D-pad, and nobody, the game doesn't, you know, communicate that well. And I'm actually doing a decent. This guy will probably still beat my ass, but I am somehow... Okay, yeah, I'm... Be oh, come on, come on. Yes, come on. Yes. Oh, no. No. Oh, yeah, he beat me. <laughs> if you... If you played it as... Oh, man. With the healing item, you might be able to be according to this. You, with the healing item, you might be able to be, be able to beat him. Um, you might be able to beat him in the first try, but you do need to blow through your 270 yuan healing item in the middle of a fight. Okay, um, that's probably not what I would suggest you do but you know you you do you the thing is it's really hard to earn money in this game 
unless you run around town collecting herbs, which is the best way to earn money in this early part of the game. Excuse me. Now, I did promise that we are going to beat this guy without training because most people will want to beat him without actually grinding for anything here. But like I said, this is Dark Souls. This game is Dark Souls. The fighting in this game is Dark Souls. You will need to grind your butt off. Okay? But most people will want to beat him because he want to, you, people will want to progress the story. The... Ga games are rarely this hard. The first, the first thug you have to fight in 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 a game is rarely this hard. But they've really designed this game to punish people who don't grind super incredibly hard. Okay. Anyway, do some tornado kicks on him. It seems like it's not that effective. Blocking is not as effective either because he's going to blow through your blockage a lot. It just what, what I suggest is just... Oh, maybe not. You're going to heal right now. Oh, how did I do that? Is that a triangle, triangle, circled in two? Okay. Okay. Okay, we're getting a and then block. Okay. That's what I'm doing is triangle, triangle, circle, triangle, and then blocking immediately. Or maybe even just triangle, triangle, circle seems to be okay. Ow, ow. No, please. Back off. You have to be like Fighting as cheap as possible here. Man, those kicks are so powerful. Okay, we're almost we're almost beat him. Just just dodge anything. Come on! Yes! With the last sliver of health. Yeah, I'm pretty good, bro. That's how hard it is to beat. The first guy in the game you have to fight. And he's not even a bad guy. He's just, you know, hey, you do it, bro. Let's fight. So, uh, I'll be cutting from this video and then moving to another video right now. I'll tell you how to become a, a tougher guy. Okay? So, um, so the thing is... The guy will beat your butt so hard, okay? That is the the, the game has designed its, itself in a way that Ryo Hazuki, the protagonist of the game, will get his butt whooped by this guy behind him. And that's how they designed it. They designed it that he will he will tell you to go to Marshall Hall where in no it, 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 he kind of just nonchalantly says you go to Marshall Hall what he what the game is trying to tell you is that you need to grind heavily 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 grind your attack level your endurance level and your kung fu level and your heart and your health points so that you can beat him of course we beat him on the first try but we did spend 270 yuan to heal ourselves mid fight 200 that's so hard to earn 270 yuan that no no game I know will make you spend 90% all your money at the start of the game to beat the first enemy of the game Shenmu is Dark Souls there is no hand holding here it doesn't even tell you that you need to grind that Shenwa goes like oh you could go train here if you want no this is absolutely required okay and we managed to fight him with one HP with just one health of course your your bar replenishes up to the yellow part anyway um, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna tell you because it's not explained by the game how to level up your attack how to level up your endurance how to level up your kung fu how to level up your um, hit points 
um, through the martial arts training and through the whatnot, you will probably, if you're if you're playing this game naturally, you'll stumble into these things uh, naturally. But you don't know that you actually need what you actually need to do unless you you know fumble around the menus and stuff, and you won't know that you need to. W there is an actual training part. In this game where you fight the Tai Chi guy and you don't know what to do, it doesn't explain. But I'll show you what you need to do to level up your stuff. Anyway, I'm going to cut from here. I'm going to heal up. And I'll show you the training that you need to do too. Uh, first of all, let's go for the uh, HP, the health point training. And we'll be right back. 